again the power cut i have a high priority meeting to attend and my mobile signal also poor here what to do okay i have built up a step up diy circuit which can use your power bank to give emergency input to your wi-fi router and modem and give you a high bandwidth internet at emergency power cut scenario let me use that now i can at least attend my meeting in high bandwidth internet connection hey guys welcome back to my channel just now you have seen the scenario if you are in middle of meeting want to attend a meeting or want to attend a online classes over internet it's really required a high bandwidth internet connection instead of your mobile internet let's see how to build up a dc step up diy circuit which can use your power bank and give power to your wi-fi router or internet modem in emergency power cut scenario Let's check out today's video how to build this DIY circuit. Okay, let's build it. These are the items we are going to use today. I have purchased this item from the online. I'll keep the best buy link in the description. Guys, these items are not so expensive. You will get all the items within 200 bucks. The first and the primary item is this DC boost up circuit where it will boost up the voltage from 5 volt to require voltage. The model name is XL6009E. The price was 100 or 110 bucks. It is clearly specifying what is the input and what is the output. And here you can control your voltage. And this is the plastic enclosure where my circuit will going to deploy. Today I'm going to use my old USB cable. This USB cable came up with my trimmer. And nowadays the trimmer is gone and the USB cable is lying idle. So today I thought let's use this USB cable and build up this DC boosted cable so you can see this uh, the other end is not compatible with my router so i'm going to use a old unused charger head and if you don't have an old usb cable like me so you can purchase this optional usb cable you can see the Input will be USB and the output will be the DC jack. This has the DC jack. This will be the optional. Today I am not going to use this. So today I am going to use my white color USB cable. And the head I am going to change. Because it is not compatible with uh, the DC jack. Here the USB cable I already cut. And I got my male DC jack. So you can see the connection is pretty easy. The USB cable connect in the input side and the DC jack cable will connect out the output side. Before connecting to the circuit, it's better always check the positive and negative terminals. So here you can see I'm using a very simple multimeter which i got it uh, for around 100 bucks from my local vendor so you can see this white one is a positive terminal just now I checked with my multimeter so it will connect in the positive side 
and the black one will connect in the negative side. So let me do the soldering. So here the soldering uh, is again depend upon the person. If you want to do the soldering by yourself because uh, I'll tell you guys my all the setup is not costing beyond the 200 bucks because my multimeter is around 110 bucks soldering iron is 70 bucks and the soldering lead and the wax is coming around 20 to 30 bucks so it's nearly around 200 bucks and i use this uh, tools for my other dc electronics projects so it's better if you have all this item handy with you or else you can go to any electronic shop and do the soldering it's a very easy task uh, just uh, solder here where's that's it so you can see my usb input side soldering has been done before jumping to output uh, side connection it's better again check the positive and negative terminal guys don't skip or stop this video if you find difficulty to build this circuit please go ahead and watch till end you will get an alternative for this I'm using here the multimeter to check which is positive and which is negative for my DC jack cable. Any ideas? So positive negative is uh, identified. So let me do the soldering. So finally the soldering has been done input side and the output is soldered properly now it's time to deploy this circuit inside this plastic enclosure let's put some hot glue using my hot glue gun on the soldering area so it will keep the soldering tight After the soldering and hot glue, let's plug in this circuit inside the plastic enclosure. So I am going to use here uh, the 3M double sided tape to keep this circuit inside this plastic enclosure. Guys we can use a heat sink tube or this plastic enclosure so i have uh, this plastic enclosure that's the reason i'm using this if you have uh, the heat sink tube you can use that also so you can see uh, the soldering and the circuit is well placed inside this enclosure and before using this circuit it's better to check the voltage so i am using my basic multimeter to check the voltage so one side we are going to plug in this usb to power bank and the other side dc side we are going to check the voltage and based on the our need we are going to adjust the voltage So here uh, the DC jack outside will be the negative whole one is a positive and you can see the output is coming around 12 volt and also we can set the voltage using this voltage regulator.
After setting off the desired voltage, let's plug in the outer cover. This circuit, one of the benefit is uh, we can adjust the voltage according to our need. Like if your router is 9 volt, we can adjust to 9 volt. If your router is 12 volt, you can adjust to 12 volt. If your router is 15 volt also, you can set it to 15 volt. So accordingly, we can set it up like what is the router or modem output voltage. Now let's test this cable. So here is the setup. I have my Hathaway Gpon modem which required 12 volt input. Along with that I have this build up cable with my power bank. So before plug into the modem let's check out the voltage. The voltage is telling 12.46 voltage. The output voltage is 12.46 voltage which quite adequate for this modem. Let's plug in this DC jack on this Hathaway modem. Guys, you can see the power light is blinking and the modem is working fine. Now we are going to check same setup on 9 volt Wi-Fi router. For that we need to reduce the voltage. Let me reduce the voltage to 9.35 volt. And this is my TP-Link Wi-Fi router. Which required a 9 volt 0.85 ampere. So this circuit will give the 9 volt input. Before connecting to the Wi-Fi router, it's better to check the voltage. The voltage is proper. Let me plug in. You can see the light is blinking. Using my circuit, the power bank is giving power to the Wi Fi router. You can see the power light and the Wi Fi light is blinking. So, hence it is working fine, guys. So, here I demonstrated both 9 volt and 12 volt again it is depend upon your wi-fi what is the voltage required for that accordingly you can set the voltage and use your power bank for the power backup of your wi-fi or the modem like this you can build a circuit use your power bank to give a backup to your wi-fi or the modem Let me reset this circuit to 12 volt output and give power to my Hathaway Gpon modem. Guys, recently I have purchased this Flipkart branded power bank. Let me know if you want a review for this product, why I purchased this power bank and what are the good feature pros and cons of this. Let me know on the comment section. I will make a separate video for this power bank also.
instead of building this circuit, we have some alternatives. Let's check the alternatives. Just google it 5V to 12V converter. The first glance you will going to get the Excel 6900 circuit. Below you will get a link. Please click on these two links. The first alternative is this circuit. You can see here uh, the price is 649 bucks and it converts from 5 volt to 12 volt DC to DC converter. This circuit is exactly replica of what we have built but it's a productized version. So this circuit has same USB input and the DC jack output. The price is 649 and it takes around 8 working days. The second alternative will be this AliExpress product. This is the USB to DC jack power booster cable. The price for 5 to 12 volt converter is 137 bucks and the price for 5 to 9 volt it is 134 bucks and we can choose 5 to 5 volt also it is 115 bucks. It has the shipping charges around 5 bucks and it takes around 50 to 60 days to reach to your destination. Again guys, I don't recommend to order from AliExpress because on this pandemic, it is tough to reach on your destination. Again, it is depend upon the custom and the shipping method. So I suggest if you don't want to build the circuit, just order it from Flipkart. The only demerit, it has the particular voltage output like 5 to 12 volt or 5 to 9 volt and you have to pay 649 for each cable these are the alternatives if you don't want to build the circuit by your own if you like this video please hit the like button and support as a creator by subscribing my channel and press the bell icon stay safe and thank you so very much for watching this video